So today we're going to set up a content filter on Android using Chrome. This will allow us to determine where users get to and where they don't. This is especially useful for any students who might be home learning at the moment. So we're going to go to our settings page and we're going to create a new profile. This will be a device profile. We'll give this a suitable name such as Android Chrome Content Filter and we'll hit add settings and we'll find managed app config because we're going to configure Chrome. We'll select Android, we'll select the Chrome application. This goes off and dynamically brings all of the different settings that we can actually go and configure. And I've put a link later to all of the different ones that we can do. So we're just going to add a few of them here. And the first one is going to be a block list. Now, because this is an array, we need square brackets. So we're just going to type in square bracket and a star to block everything. We'll now go to our allow list. I'm just going to paste in some entries here. We'll add a few more things as well, which are relevant. We're actually going to not have search suggest enabled. We're not going to enable the password manager and we're not going to enable the default search provider as well. We'll hit save. So we're just going to spend a second to look at the values that we've just typed in. We've got URL block list and we're going to block absolutely everything. We've got a URL allow list. And as you can see, we've typed in some, some websites here. We're not going to have search suggest enabled, nor password manager enabled, nor the default search provider enabled as well. Now there's an awful lot more information at the link on the web page there. So we're now going to head over to our device and we're going to open Chrome. And as you can see, we can load cisco.com absolutely fine, but we're going to try and load YouTube. Now, obviously YouTube is not in our allow list, so we can't get there. So let's try news.bbc. Now you might remember that BBC was, so you've got to be a little careful with the URLs that you put in. We're just gonna have a quick look though. Um, we can actually see the policies that we've set. So you can see that we've got a star for our block list and all of these are allowed as well. So we'll go to meraki.com and this will fail because we actually put in our list HTTPS. So again, just be very mindful of the values that users could actually type in here. We'll put the correct HTTPS and you'll see that we can get that. Thank you.